Welcome to Mission 8 Impossible. If you've followed my channel for a little while, maybe you've seen a couple of videos that do not actually belong to my, well, two Let's Plays, which are multiplayer 8-arm competitions held on the 8-arm.de forum. One of these competitions has reared its ugly head again, and this time it's called Mission 8 Impossible where teams are formed each team gets assigned or well there was an involved drafting process which was loads of fun but also already over and now we're left with a choice of with a selection of five characters who now all have to perform in turns various impossible missions which are thankfully not actually impossible but they are quite tricky and i have to commend the um host of the tournament Jolly Slayer for his ingenious design, his first mission, and I can only shudder at the thought of what he has left in store for us. Now, the first mission that we are tasked with in Mission 8 Impossible is to find an artifact, deliver it to the Mad Minstrel's Glade, if you don't know where that is, we'll hopefully get there soon enough, and do it all within 6,000 turns. Sounds easy enough, but first I have to find an artifact. Now, there are actually, and this is why I like this mission so much, several ways to do it. All of them are almost equally terrible. One of them is more terrible than the others. I won't be doing that one. But right from the bat, I actually have the a decision to make which of the paths I follow, because the turn limit of 6,000 turns is going to be quite hard to actually hold on to or easy depending on how lucky I get now the first thing I'm gonna do for this tournament is not actually that well that's embarrassing well, Dave, how would it one do that how would it do that yeah that's it I'm gonna switch to ta attack dynamic display into the bottom right this is anyway something that you might not even be aware of if you've played Adam before I can modify the display in the bottom right to show various things and one of the things I can show this is money this is ammunition this was actually implemented in what I don't want to OP pretty some I don't know it's a new feature it's quite useful I haven't actually used this neat oh, wait and now I have a timer if this timer reaches 6000 and I am not in the glade with an artifact in my pocket I lose the first challenge of course, I also lose the first challenge, uh, first mission. I fail the mission. I don't lose the challenge, I fail the mission. If I die. And I think that's just about enough of introductions. Now, of course, I'm going to take my character Munchies, the Drakeling Beast Fighter. And already I'm screwing up a little because uh, Beast Fighters start with a pretty huge stack of meat, some of which is rotting, rotable, which means I should right away eat all those apples before they're completely gone spoiled and continue on my way to Terenio now I'm only gonna stop stop here for a little while stopping in I'm gonna buy some food and try to find a tiny girl now I have to I already missed her once which I really don't want to repeat again actually so I'm gonna have an eye on the minimap no I do not actually want to attack the child right away I had uh, something which is quite off topic to the actual mission aid impossible thing but which I also really can't ignore that is not what a beast fighter looks like I'm sorry I have to say this blunt as this but no beast fighters do not use weapons beast fighters get massive penalties if they do ever use weapons the beast fighter character should not have a sword in hand I mean of course I, I know that it uh, can be a drain on the finances, finances, and financial resources to implement additional art, but this really, I don't want a beast, I, I want to play a beast fighter, not a dude with a sword. I, I, no need to dwell on this anyway. I think, if I remember right, I have 88 gold, that's enough for a couple of large rations. If I just have to end up going to, all the way over to the Caverns of Chaos to get my artifact. I might actually run out of food, so I'm gonna solve that right away. 
and I actually because of my massive strength score I have to space in the inventory anyway now I just uh, want to confirm this this is what a beast fighter starts out with he wears furs and nothing else beast fighters um, one of two unarmed specialist classes in the game the other being the monk and beast fighters are the one one class that absolutely is rubbish at using any kind of melee weapon. They get massive penalties and all other sort of nastiness. In exchange, they actually have useful uh, unarmed damage as they rise in level. Unfortunately, at level 1 they start with shitty damage and the tiny girl is already being a huge pain in the behind. Is she hidden here? No. There she is! Hello, tiny girl. Has to see my little doggy. Disappeared. Yeah, uh, uh, I know the song and dance. I'm on a important mission. Please do not bother me. Anyway, that means uh, now the location of the puppy cave is revealed, which means I can enter it. Now, the first, the reason I'm doing it this way is twofold. First of all, I shouldn't try to cross the wilderness at level one. It's technically survivable, but really not necessary. So I need a place to get my first couple of levels. And Puppy Cave number one is as good a place as any. The second consideration is that on the second Puppy Cave level, there is a hive of ants. Those of you who have actually watched my stuff, I don't know what would make you do that, um, may remember that all the way, all the way back in episode one or two of it, I entered Puppy Cave two and found a hive of ants. Eating ant corpses uh, after you've killed them provides acid resistance. And acid resistance would make me very, very well equipped to fight Keithrax. And Keithrax actually does drop an artifact. If that works out, I don't have to cross the big room at all. And that's currently what I'm considering doing here. And I'm putting on these boots. The only trouble might be to figure, might be figuring out what do I actually do. If I actually do manage to be, beat Keithrax this early, I might actually then uh, proceed to the puppy cave. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, actually. I'm still not done, actually, with the ants. And I'm also not really feeling the levels around here right now. That should be a water trap, yeah, that's what the minimap shows. Okay, secret door, obviously. Uh, another secret door that I automatically found. You are very attentive, I like that already. Anyway, I have to... I'd like to point out at this moment that these stats are almost unfair. I have to apologize to all my competitors, but this is a massive strength and toughness score and very balanced stats all around. The worst stat is appearance, and even that is her. Drakelings are pretty... Drakelings are pretty OP. Just in general. Oh, let's do this. Let's lose them. Use the mouse again. Why not? And that's a key. Something more to kill. Some gold pieces. I am actually restricted in the early game locations that are available to me. It just so happens that Puppy Cave is one of them, so that's what I'm banking on right now. That I might get acid resistance here, I already told you that. And I also have to keep an eye on a turn timer. It might be that this Tangan is costing me more time than I can actually afford. Ah, oh, whatever. Another feature of this uh, condition is that I am competing not as an alone person. My English is horrible today. But uh, in a team of five. With five, four other guys who have also started characters and are also uh, compete, trying to complete the first mission. Some of them succeeded, some didn't. And I offhandedly killed uh, our first cat. And if Jelly Slayer actually is actually planning to incorporate uh, the Ring of the Master Cat in a future mission, I'm going to strangle him right now, because that is devious. But anyway, we really... Uh, it's happened, is the point. And something is lying up here, it's a throwing knife. Actually, I just realized I am still level 1. 
nuts on the levels. And there are the ants. So we were already um, trying to find our way towards... Okay, these are giant ant workers. These are the ants that I have should have no trouble taking in a fair fight. Case in point. Even, un even though I am unarmed and I was still level 1. And the thing about Beast Fighter Unarmed Damage, it becomes very, very beastly, if you don't mind me saying so. But it takes a little while to get there. I'm actually gonna try and increase food preservation, because I am, am. Food preservation increases the chances of a monster leaving behind a corpse. As you can see, my critical strikes deal massive damage to these ants, which is probably... Okay, this one is a giant ant warrior. And I just realized this was probably a horrible idea. Yeah, it was a horrible idea. I'm abandoning it and say hello to... Uh, I'm not actually not even really sure. But I think what I'm gonna do... Hmm. I'm gonna check my experience rates. I actually need massive experience to advance in levels, which is really, really bad news for a beast fighter. Right now I'm at level 2, that improves my damage all the way up to not barely at all. To fuck all, we, as the British would put it. Yes, wonderful, that's a spear. You get really used to ignoring just any and all melee weapon you see as a beast fighter. Okay, a bundle of arrows that I might pick up. And there's really nothing for me here. I don't want to fight the ants after all, that was a horrible idea. So I'm gonna look for... Well, if I stay here and look for monsters to fight, the monster generation rate on uh, a regular dungeon level is just too little. I will waste valuable turns if I do that, so I'm gonna... Change tactics entirely. Now, we have the choice between two of the early game quests. The village dungeon quest and a druid dungeon quest. And for beast fighter, I would probably always pick the druid dungeon quest just because you already have, a beast fighter already has healing as well as herbalism. And completing the, dru the druid's quest apart from uh, giving you a chance of an artifact, also allows you to get either Gardening or a Wand of Frostbolt, which is both um, much more useful than whatever you can get from the other quest. Anyway, good luck. I'm gonna open up the Druid Dungeon and get a couple of first levels in there. At least until I'm level 4, and then I'm gonna travel across to Kyrion Chaos and explore that place and try to get the artifact there. If I am, hmm. If my eyes do not deceive me, that is one of the. No, that is actually a regular old statue. One of those has a kick down, can kick down and uh, break into pieces. Which I've done right away. Of course, why would I do anything else? Another large ration over here. There's a river over there, which is also good to know. But anyway, I'm just looking for stuff to, for, people, for monsters to kill. Nothing else matters right now. Because I re hmm. At least I assume that Kithrax... I mean, I can take Kithrax, probably. I have the option of spitting acid at him and killing him quickly. The only thing I'm really worried about on the level is um, the acid slugs. That's why I was so greedy to get acid resistance, but that plan failed because I'm also a massive chicken shit. I don't know if I could have taken the uh, giant ant warriors, but I didn't want to risk it anyway. Now, I really want treasure hunter because I'm a lunatic. And, uh, my health score doesn't need additional help, and neither does my speed score because I was born in the month of the raven, and uh, which provides a substantial speed boost. And now I'm actually discovering that the game is already trying to tick me off a little by placing the other end of the stairs on the other end side of the river. 
Now this shouldn't be a problem because I have a massive, because I have a decent swimming skill, and I only have to cross one square of river to get where I want to be. So there's that. Okay, exploring a dark room is really screwy. Somehow. Okay, well actually, probably has to be this way because I am discovering the walls, and ah, that's not that terrible actually. Right. A dark room with no exits. Which means I have to search manually because walk search won't work. Actually, this is stupid. Thank you. And what do we have here? Nothing of note. Now I'm blind. Wonderful. Thank you very much, game. You've been too kind. Where are the monsters? Thank you! Attention room of rats means... Experience points! I'm probably gonna take these experiences and just uh, run all the way over the Cairns of Chaos, because that's where I have my best shot at recovering an artifact. As I've said, I'm not planning on killing Kaithrex at all. This is really a lucky break. These early levels will do wonders for my skills at uh, dismembering various types of creatures, especially animals. Of course, I don't really need that to kill all these rats, but everything else is wonderful. If I'm not mistaken... Nope. I, th I don't know why I thought that. But no, um, break things are actually... Not I can take everything. I don't have to be selective for what I pick up. I have a massive strength score. Right, so I've got a massive stack of rocks, which I'm mm, actually going to equip right now to have some sort of missile combat. And which is going to be important probably very soon in the big room or the Caverns of Chaos in general. Which will, in the later levels, be a bit more challenging to myself. I'm going to... Well... I'm not going to actually stop by Terranio because I have way more than enough food. I'm just going to go straight ahead and try to travel all the way across the sky. I don't know why I said that. Right, let's go to the forest here. Skip Terra Levinilfell because I really don't want to. And just to be really optimized and everything, I'm gonna take the shortcut across the river. My scroll carpet DM, I do not care. It was probably a scroll of chaos assistance or something. Oh wait. Corruption removal or something. But I do not care. I just swam across the river and saves my valuable time and there are the entrance it's the entrance to the caverns of chaos right there is an artifact in the caverns of chaos all the way on dungeon level eight the artifact uh well if i find it you'll see soon enough what it is it's not all that remarkable but on the way there are going to be several obstacles to get through it starts innocently enough. Dungeon Devil D1, the first level to Counts Chaos, is not very dangerous at all. But I'm going to explore it anyway completely because level five is while level five is good, it already has improved my dam damage dice to 1d6. Uh, it can get a lot better for Beast Fighters at higher levels. Truth be told, though, I'm probably not gonna really need levels that hard because a strength score 24 alone will allow me to do respectable damage to most uh, pretty much anything with my sword man I'm whiner ah, stack of rocks one, one half you never know when you might need something like that Actually, I have to practice with these. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, um, oh, you just suck with them, don't you? Ah, then you can do this better. 
You have a dexterity score of 18. That's actually pretty for the damn good. I know you can do it. That's right. right uh, I'm not sure if I should hold out for a sling, actually. Slings um, are, uh, offer some extra range. Offer some... On the other hand, the range is probably good enough with Throne Rocks eventually. So let's go for that. And if I find an early sling, piles of whatever monsters are going to leave around, then I'm going to switch right over. Uh, this level is just designed to make me lose, waste as many point turns as possible. Now there's a ghoul melee range. Luckily, I am quite beastly in melee, even though I don't have the greatest amount of PB. And the HP score right here, that's just disgusting. That is OP as fuck. Come here. Thank you. Eat hearty. That is a gnoll. No danger whatsoever. A good HP score would be a massive help in the big doom. Actually, maybe I'm guessing I probably could have taken the other route too and just killed Kathrax for the Black Talk. But I don't really wanna. I just did that for the Let's Play, so. Hmm. Whatever. Is there nothing to kill here? Where are we anyway? It's D2. Okay, Alright. El Bagbero. Where are we here? A mouth and a pier of walls. That's they say that Balors are the gatekeepers of chaos. <sighs> Alright. That is not all relevant to my interests right now. Uh, not leather girdles. One of a few items that is almost guaranteed to never be useful. And there we have a Goblin Slave Master. Uh, down staircases, but I'm not done exploring yet. Controlling the game with the mouse is still feeling pretty good. Just die everything. Just kill everyone. No one's gonna miss him. Oh, yeah. Killed you too. Cloves, no. Uh, what just happened? Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Of course, as soon as a mouse leaves the uh, minimap thing, it basically goes in me. Uh, no. That's well, acting pretty much how it should. Ah, if your mouse leaves the window of the game. Oh well, I don't really have time to fiddle with this anymore. Let's not get distracted. And go down another level. And we've reached the arena. This time located in dungeon level 3. Uh, wooden shields are also used as the beast fighters because, well, they also deactivate the melee damage, bo the unarmed damage bonuses. Even though you're technically still unarmed fighting, you might even still get a penalty, so no reason for me to pick up a shield at all. Well, unless I was have decided to completely fight with range attacks from now on and something like that, which I haven't, so there we go. Now what do we have here? This guy is a cut purse. 
And a bunch of rattling traders right here. Now, do I actually want to do the arena fights yet? There is an option. If the big room turns out, if it turns out I have to flee on the big room, just to do 20, 20 arena fights and go to the go to the glade of the mad minstrel with the golden gladius at the first artifact. What I do not need right now is the food, and I just gonna go ahead and ignore these guys entirely. I need my turns for something else right now. So there is a vault on dungeon level four. If it's an easy to do vault, I'm gonna do it right now and get the sweet tasty experience. And there we have our answer. It's an orc vault, which is the easiest type of vault there is. I can't control this guy with WASD, what am I doing? So, losing blood sucks in this game now. Oh well. Is there a particular reason why I can't hit these orcs and kill them? Oh. I'm clicking on the wrong square. I haven't been doing anything for ages. Ow! Okay, I'm sorry, but this is probably it as far as controlling the game with the mouse goes for a while. That just that just hurt. I generally like the mouse, but for combat, there's nothing really nothing I quite like. Uh, what do I do with that thing? Uh, okay. Oh, see, it took uh, maybe two seconds to kill everything. Oh, leather armor is an improvement over what I have, what I have right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and equip it right away because I should be able to do that in relative peace. A parchment tomb. Now this is really quite typical. I have, a, I'm playing a beast fighter, which are some of the least magic capable classes available in the game. So of course I would get a com fucking spell book with this guy. Of course I would. What else would did I expect? I keep throwing these crude knives at me. I'm not really a fan of that. Well, at least I can f feast on all corpse. It's usually the usual result if you go through an orc wall. There's a huge pile of orc corpses that you can't possibly hope to eat quite tragic. Such a waste of good, good orc. If, I was, if I'm not mistaken, it was just a, a kobold hiding in between the orcs. I don't, I can't Im I don't imagine that being very pleasant. I mean, there's this huge pile of sweaty, stinking orcs, and you're a kobold right around with your head and nose you cover Hovering right about groin level, an ass level. That is not an unpleasant place to be in. I wonder what kind of poor life choices ended, ended with him being there. Well, he's dead now, so that's a relief. My HP score continues getting obscene, more obscene by the with every level. Toughness score of 22 is. Wow. Retarded high. I'm at half HP and I'm not even worried about it myself because even I'm in no danger of dying even now. And I don't really have the time to dawdle, so I'm just gonna keep on tucking. Uh, there's a, da, 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 a pile of weapons that I don't need. Uh, some gold. Hmm. Just a kick, so I'm gonna try out the leather amulet. It's nothing useful at all. I'm gonna switch out the boots to the spike boots because it gives me extra PV. And nothing else to do right now. Oh, this is worrisome. 
Just gonna get my distance here and kill him with rocks. Ow! A crude spear, eh? A wonderful weapon. If I could use melee weapons, probably. I would be quite grateful. Now I do have the healing skill, so healing up shouldn't take all that long time. But I'm not really getting much of a reprieve from the constant monsters, and I'm gonna switch to using my sling now. Because reasons. My throwing weapon skill is still only at one, so I don't really lose much. A weapon skill of one gives a two hit bonus of Two and a damage bonus of one. The sling alone already gives, I think, either two to hit or two damage because I've picked a better than average sling, so everything's okay. Turns are. It's starting to get, let's say, entire, not entirely untrivial with the turn rate. I'm almost at half time. But. Still, wait you know, more than enough time. And I did manage to get level seven in the time that I had. I spent so far. Let's check my melee damage right now. One d eight plus eleven is already on the level of like a sword or something. This is the orc chieftain, the toughest orc in town. So I'm gonna keep my distance again. Oh, this guy's not letting up. I think my HP got too high again for the coward movement bonus. Uh, nothing here. Oh, I can take the seed with me, I guess, and large ration. I don't really need either, but whatever. <sighs> Good knife. Da, 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 da. On my rocks again, because these stack and it's good. I don't like the random hits from the squawks and stuff, but whatever. I mean, the experience I get from doing this world should be valuable. These fighters really need their experience. And I'm also already done, so... And I got myself a wand out of the mess. That's a regular basic orc, they die easily. Just generally, monsters are can be harder to keep apart now in this mode. This one is actually a battle axe made of a higher metal. I think it's mithril. This will sell for a pretty penny, so I'm gonna take it anyway, even though I can actually use one. And it's a dark room. Yeah, wonderful. It's dark here. Anything else that you care to tell me? Yep. Yeah. Something passing very closely besides my head means something else was in the dark room. I slew it without knowing what it even was. I would feel remorse if I wasn't a wild animal man. Half beast, half man. There is a sausage. A fire beetle, which die easily to beast fighters because they are fit under the animal moniker and I probably get my damage bonus and shot and shit. One thing I do not have otherwise is the find weakness skill. One for you. Oh, Jade Wing. I'm really tempted just to check what it does right now. Nope. Oh well, worth a shot. There's a chance for Jade Wings to be a ring of invisibility, though I guess they might not even show up at D4. So, nah. uh, I wish I remembered what it was now. Though there's also a possibility to change things in the transition to one of the pre-releases and items may be a wider variety of things now because it used to be that items were pretty easy to identify just from the materials if you had several of them and knew where you found them. Also after going down these stairs I'm officially at half time. Though. I'm not very worried because the art, the item I need is only located on dungeon level 8. So I have plenty of time to find it. And there are actually herbs in this level, which is very important 
to know because... Ow! Fuck it! Stupid doors. I really have no way of disabling traps other than, well, face disabling them. Yeah, that bush is beyond hope. What is that thing? Ah, that's a carrion crawler, I see. That is, that is freaky looking. I like it. And... Wonderful! Thank you, Adam. You've been a great game so far to me. Um, I hope to find a stabilizable spot of of herbs is herbs is slowly dwindling. I like the white gem. I'm gonna keep it. K fishes. K fishes by the truckload. K fishes by the truckload means only okay, only one thing. I already see him there, struck in his violet armor. Dude, you're not really doing yourself any favors with that get up. And if I'm not mistaken, that should be a dark elven wizard, which means he didn't even have to do that. They're dark gray. He should be. He could be wearing something normal. Dark elven priestesses have to wear dark violet stuff because they're violet for some reason. <sighs> Happier times when I didn't, ha I didn't end up questioning all of this, all of the time. Jesus Christ, man! Is this gonna end anytime soon? At least I'm poison resistant. There you go. Kill one after another. Uh, yeah, that's an Argo Wizard, all right. Strange. Whoa, what the hell? Ah, yeah. Miss Allen. Okay, you are now dead. And your spiders are soon to follow. There's an eye of destruction right over there. It's probably gonna destroy my best items ever. Ah, no, it, it was stuck in the web. <laughs> That's funny. Funny because I. No, just funny. I wasn't the one to suffer from it. Yeah. The chain summoners summoned monsters do not actually drop items now, you only get their remains. This was done to avoid cases where you could just well scum massive amounts of items by keeping huge numbers of summons on going. But I think it's already been reverted for a future version, which oh, probably not that bad idea does kind of suck if you have to fight all these things and then you don't even get anything for it. I can certainly agree with that. Uh, I can't eat anything. If I accidentally clean my ears, it must mean I've activated caps lock, so I have deactivated it again. And that really was all there is to this level. Nope, I'm picking up the shield. Poor cut purse. My mate! If I just have to say something, that cut purse is ripped. I'm not sure why I didn't just decide to become a regular ass fighter because holy crap, that was awesome. That is some bulky muscles. Oh shit. But no, okay, let's be a sneaky cut purse. Right. The big room in this case is on dungeon level six. This is a big obstacle because if I can if I get stuck in a big room. I might not be able to do it within a turn limit, and I might even die in the attempt to cross the big room. Now I have to... Hmm. Well, of course I have to explore it. And the direction I'm going to take is this one to the larger part of the level. Because it gives me, in theory at least, more space to escape. I'm not going to detour for that weapon, anyway. Okay, I've reached the other end. So, if you move the angle in that direction, this way I cover more space. Right. Okay. I need to know the other stair. Ah, there they are. The down staircase are here. Which means I've already braved the challenge of the big room with no trouble to speak of. 
and I should be all set for completing the quest now. I'm not gonna go back in the big room right away. I mean, why would I? Have, why would I do that? Because if I don't dawdle too much now, I can still make it all the way easily. Make it all the way to Dwarf Town. Check out the shop and everything. Get a get us started on the Thundar quest, the first one, and still have more than enough time to make it a Mad Minstrel's Glade. But first of all, I'm gonna stick around here. It's a bed. It's also a vault on this level, which I might actually be doing before I move on, because why not? It depends on what kind of vault it is, as usual. And it seems very, very undead from the looks of it. Which is good news because there are probably aren't just like one ghoul or something in there. Nothing all that remarkable, and the rest is full with skeletons and shit. And of course, well, this one shadow, but even that guy can't really withstand my melee skills anymore. They are quite hefty! Except, of course, it feels weird to see me using a sword when I. Oh, a beast fighter. Die, Mr. Skeleton. Skeletones. Perishado. I do not speak Spanish. I just like emba embarrassing myself in front of the general public. <sighs> I'm gonna. No, hmm. oh, quick should be the best, still the best choice, even though I'm um, I am already massively fast. There are no downsides to becoming even faster than that. And there's a crystal. Oh, 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 oh. Golden wand, 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 wand. Fire lizard corpse, it might get me fire resistance. I'm not sure if that did it. I think it didn't. If I suddenly shiver, then that should be fire resistance. That is a ghoul, finally. Though, with my current armor, I shouldn't even be that scared. Oh, I have purple. Oh, nothing. Crystal helmets, way better than a regular old metal cap. Still haven't found a cloak. Found one set of gloves, which aren't really useful at all. And have found a useful set of boots. Yeah, that's good enough. Some decent early game armor, just in general, compounded with a massive toughness score that gives me bonus PV. Life is good! Undeath is currently proving not to be very pleasant for these particular creatures hiding in this vault. Hiding their treasures in this vault. Unsuccessfully. Yeah. Okay, there's one leg of the vault. Okay, I'm down to 2,000 turns now. Which means I should probably be get going. Now, we move on to... Ooh, nice. We move on. As stated. Ah. It's taking ages. On to dungeon level 8. Where we will find, please don't summon spiders, our first artifact. Ooh, it's a mink dog. Oh, I didn't bother a corpse. What a shame. I didn't really have the time to try and get score blink dogs or all things now. And that is a cloak. Provides a point of DB. Better than nothing. Still looking for a strange item. Eyes on the prize. Oh, that's it. That was a daemon. Oh, huh. that guy was genuinely freaky looking. Nice work. Seriously, you think they'd learn? Running only to makes it take longer. Uh, it's a shitty metal cap. Ah, uh, it'll sell for something. Ooh, gelatinous cube. Meleeing a gelatinous cube paralyzes you, so you should 
even if you're in melee range, stick to using missile weapons. Because that won't trigger the paralysis. And it's another dark elf, another least daemon. Some raw meat. Great. And yeah. There it is. We have ourselves a strange item. This is the artifact we've come here to get. We're now left with around 1500 turns to make it all the way to the delivery point. Which actually is not even that much. I have to. So I'm gonna make it to Dwarf Town, get a quest, and do nothing else. And run straight to the Mad Minister's Glade. That should work. I wonder if I can even afford to afford to explore dungeon level 9. But since it doesn't have a vault, it's probably should be safe. That's where Dwarf Town, Dwarf Town is. There's splashing sounds, but without the exclamation mark, that denotes a water trap. Nothing too remarkable. Another wand here. Right. No, I actually have to go. Dwarf Town should be right behind this. It isn't. So there's a beehive. Okay, I'm not going to look very far because I can actually fight those bees and still make it to Dwarf Town. There's a summoner that can keep me stuck here. I'm going to kill it right away. Okay, that worked. Huh. I'm cutting it close actually, if I still want to make it to Dwarf Town. I'm stubborn as a mule. Oh, there's a shop here! Full of scrolls! If I had more time, I'd actually do something there. I just want to make it a dwarf town. Don't make this so hard on me. That's where the bees are. Not good. Oh, quickling. Is that Tinkerbell? This stuff is weird. Okay, aboard. I have no desire to tangle these bees. To tangle with the bees. Absolutely none. Aboard, aboard. Nothing to see here. I'm gonna try here if I can find a down staircase over this way, but I'm not confident. I actually, I'm sorry team, but I have to abort Dwarf Town because a thousand turns might even be cutting it close for making it back. If anything unexpected happens, and I have to calculate for that. So, no starting the Thunder quest. I have no idea what Jolly Slay has in store for me, but we're gonna have to do it without that. If I'd done the dungeon, if I didn't waste time in the puppy cave, I probably would have still enough turns to find Dwarf Town, but it's not for. it was not to be. Oh, good thing the jackal wear didn't go off. Some of the little jackals who hold me up. Some braces. I can put them on right away because that is some tasty ass DV. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm done with you. Or for the matter of no time, no time whatsoever. Uh, should still be enough. Beast, big room once again, no trouble. That was the toughest part, essentially. Ah, that's not a way to go. Great, what a time to make it. Ah, this should be easy. Okay, that's more than enough time to do it. No. Well, safety is paramount when you're in the secret service. Or I don't actually know what is service is the guy from the Mission Impossible movies in Mission Impossible service or something CIA. Anyway, 
if you are there, then you don't have then safety is paramount. You don't want to kind of get caught off guard. I have a little over 500 turns left to make it all the way to the Galay, to the Galay of the Mad Minstrel. And if I don't get ambushed by some kind of monster stuff, that should be easy to make. And that right there is a, a completed mission aid on possible. Because I am in the Mad Minster's Glade and I own a strange item, which is counts as an artifact. Mission success! And now I have 500 turns left over, nothing to do. I don't actually know what the rules are there. I think I have to waste the rest of the 500 turns. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to... Oh. Well, if I read the rules of the challenge correctly... <laughs> right now... Nothing says that I have to actually stay in the glade when I'm done. <laughs> in theory, I should be able to just leave. I completed the objective, so... I should be able to do what I want with the rest of the turns. Do I actually have to waste my time and still... The 500,000 turns are over? I'm not sure. I'm currently checking the form that to the answer. This is really very exciting new TV, folks. Oh, what a way! What a great moment for the internet to cut out. I'm lucky I don't need I don't need it to record. <laughs> well, the internet is down. I can't actually look it up. So what I'm going to do is, anyway, I made it. There are five turns left, which I'm not entirely sure what to do with, but I will declare the challenge, a, the first mission, a success. I will save the game right here and end the recording. And if you need any more information on this cha um, this competition of ours, head on over to ADOMDA forums and just read your way through the various threats on the subject. And see you next time on Mission 8 Impossible, or let's play the new add-on, whichever comes first.